What's up, TechHeart? So, we're continuing along with our Arch Linux 2025 series, and are you guys ready for Hyperland? I sure am. We're going to do two, or maybe more, Hyperland videos. Why? The first Hyperland video, we're going to install a theme. Well, we'll install Hyperland, but we're also going to add a theme from Saul Does Tech. He's really cool. And he had a Hyperland theme, version 1, version 2, version 3, and now version 4. We're going to install it, and we're going to see how good it is in 2025. What that will give you is a complete Hyperland setup that's um, configured from top to bottom, baby! It's pretty cool. However, in a subsequent video, we'll install vanilla or basic Hyperland, and we'll research how to customize different helper apps, uh, like your taskbar, or like your search function, and all the other stuff. So, if you're ready, let's jump on into this first Hyperland video, but make sure you check back for more and more, because we're not finished here. Alright TechHeart, I'll catch you. On okay guys, so here we are on our vanilla Arch Linux installation, let's log in. Remember, you will have found this installation in the first video in the 2025 Arch Linux installation playlist. Let me make this font bigger for you. There, that makes things easier. And let's flash over to a web page, boom, and talk about how we're going to install Hyperland tonight. So we're on GitHub with a user named Saul Does Tech and the project Hyper V4. This is a Hyperland theme and we're going to install that theme tonight. So if we read here, if we have an NVIDIA card, we want to do these commands first, this section of commands, but my ThinkPad laptop doesn't have an NVIDIA card, so to install Hyperland and the Hyper V4 theme, we can enter these commands by themselves. However, we can clone the GitHub repo and we can use a set hyper script to do the installation for us. So let's go that route. I'm all about automation, right? Let me flash back over and we can move into our downloads folder and run a git clone on https github.com slash Saul does tech slash hyper v4 baby that'll clone into hyper v4 we can move in there let me clear that and we can see a set dash hyper script let's nano or vim for me set hyper because there is an issue. If we scroll down this script, we'll see all the different packages that it's going to install. And this one package way down here, nwg-look-bin, it's not available anymore in the uh, AUR. So we can erase the dash bin and we'll change it into nwg-look. That package is available. So let's save that file. And now we can do a period slash set hyper and run the script. Let's try that out on for size. Would you like to continue with the install? Yes. We'll give it a password one of many times. Would you like to disable Wi-Fi power save? I am on a laptop, but I'm going to say no here. Ooh, configuring yay. We have Peru installed and not yay, but I believe this script installs yay for us. So we'll give it our password again. Bomp. Was that an error? Come on, can we get the password installed? Or is it setting up yay? Well, another password, let's do it. This will work, folks. Done! Okay, yeah, so it looks like yay's installed. Booyah! Would we like to install the packages? Yes. And set hyper will begin to install all of the packages from Hyperland to Kitty to all the other softwares that it uses, all the other Hyperland helper applications. And uh, let's catch this when it's done. It's getting all of our helper apps from Slurp to WL Clipboard to Kitty to Mako to Waymar Baby, Swaylock FX, Thunar, Btop, WLogout. Man, we're installing all this Hyperland stuffs. Even Firefox is off in that joint, baby, Thunderbird. MPV? Man, we prefer VLC, but we can change that stuff later. Brightness CTL, baby. 
Blues, Blues Utils, and Blue Man. Oh yeah. We got Starship and Papyrus Icon. Okay. Couple different fonts. We got Jet Brains over there. Noto fonts for emojis. LX Appearance and XFCE4 settings. NWG Look and finally SDDM. That should be the last one. Let this finish up. We're enabling the SDDM service. Oh gosh, the screen capture is off screen. The set hyper script is asking me, would you like to copy config files? I'm gonna say yes. And then it asks, would you like to activate the Starship shell? I'm gonna say yes. And then it asks for Asus ROG laptops. Would you like to install Asus ROG software support? Well, I'm on a ThinkPad, so I'm gonna say no. And the final thing is it says, would you like to start Hyperlin now? I'm gonna say no, because that's off your screen, but I'm gonna advance that and show you. So I said no to, would you like to start Hyperlin now? So the script is finished. We can move out of Hyper V4, and I'm gonna RMRF on Hyper V4, and I'm gonna do a sudo reboot now. And let's see if we boot into Hyperlin. And will this theme be installed? Ooh, the suspense is thick. Let's find out. Here we go. Let's get logged in. We'll have our Lux encryption coming up. Give it a password. And look at that. We're booted into SDDM. I have noticed one issue here. If we go down here, we can see that what's selected is Hyperlind and it's managed by something. I noticed that we have to select the regular Hyperlind here or else it won't log in correctly. Let's give it a password. Dude, check out that Saul Does Tech Hyper V4 theme. Now I'm gonna point out one thing that I've noticed before. Sometimes on your first boot, it doesn't show the background, but we can fix that by going up to the upper right hand corner and clicking this little circle. And that can change between dark mode and light mode. So there you go. The very first thing we'll do is you see up here, it's like a download icon in 56 on the taskbar. That lets us know we have to update our system. So we can click that, give it our password, and we'll say all packages with an enter. And let's let that update our system. Booyah! When the window closes down, our system is fully updated. Let's take a look around this theme for a little bit. We can click up here on the power and see a cool W logout theme. This is how we can log out or shut down or reboot our computer. Um, we'll go down here to the menu. We can click here and that brings up, I forget if this is a Rofi or Wofi menu. You can see some of the apps you have installed and you can also like type fire and it'll bring up Firefox or let you search through other things. It's pretty light and I like that. We can add packages as needed. For example, I prefer the Brave browser. So I can just pull up a terminal with super Q and we can install Brave with one command. Curl dash F S capital S H T T P S colon backslash backslash D L dot Brave dot com slash install dot S H bar S H. Get it, baby. Now we should be able to do a super space. We can search for Brave and look at that. You've got a web browser. Okay, let me show you around this config a little bit. We can move into the .config folder slash hyper, and these are all of our config files. The main one is hyperlind.conf. The only edit that I've made is these top few monitor lines because I'm mirroring to my capture card. But you can move down here and you can see everything that's executed at launch. These are the exec-once entries. We can page down and all this you can change. So the gaps in, I like my, I'm going to open up another terminal just to show you. I like my gaps a little smaller. So I'm going to set this to three. And once you save this file and you can see the gaps are closer together now. So you have many options in this file and you can read on the Hyperlind documentation all about this stuff. This is where you'll make all the other edits too. With the Hyper V4 theme, you already have a lot set, but you can really change Hyperlind up to fit your needs, baby. You'll see all of your key binds down here, and these are all started with the super key, and then all this stuff down here, Q for the terminal, F4 to kill the active window, L to lock the screen. I really love that W logout theming. I'm gonna do super L, and this is that theme. Now when we enter our password, look at this cool animation. Love it. So Hyper V4 is really set up for us. Kill that window. And you can take it to the moon with your config files. 
All right, so what do you think about this Saul Does Tech config? It has all these cool features and options built right in, and you don't have to mess with everything. Oh, one other thing I'll point out is you see up here where it says V4, you can also click this. It shows you some of your most basic keybinds, and you can click right here to see all of the previous Hyper-V1, Hyper-V2, Hyper-V3, the taskbar is down here on that one, and back to Hyper-V4. So you can access all the previous Hyper-V4 themes if you'd like. I really like this. It's an easy way to set up Hyperland. It's simple to install. And Bob's your uncle, man. You get everything set up for you. So while I shut down, I'm going to tell you, thanks for coming to TechHeart. Go ahead and give me a subscribe down there because 95% of you are not subscribed. Thanks for coming along. Continue to check this 2025 Arch Linux playlist because we're going to install many other window managers. All right, baby. Until the next video, TechHeart out!